Um, hi, everyone. Um, thanks for having me here today. Hopefully, you can all hear me OK. Um, so uh, thanks for also braving the biblical conditions to join us here today. Um, we've been excited for a few weeks now to present here on the brand innovation stage, given Lutney's particular reason for existing. We see ourselves as innovators in brand, as it's something we've been doing for over 10 years now. We use patented and award-winning artificial intelligence, and we're not just pivoting towards talking about AI because it's hot right now. It's actually been at our core since its inception, and it's been helping us push the needle on what is possible in brand for years now. And we're pleased to be able to share a couple of those innovations with you here today. So, in terms of the agenda for the next 10 minutes or so, we can't talk about brand innovation in 2023 without first talking about the stress brand budgets are under in 2023. But look me, we believe that it's these moments of intense pressure and scrutiny that drive the large amount of innovation, that drive the biggest amounts of innovation. I've just heard the rain clear up there as well. Um, secondly, in terms of that innovation, I will tell you exactly how LootMe are helping advertisers to de-risk their brand investments. And lastly, we'll touch on the next evolution for brand and how that's touching, to air, touching on areas like sustainability. So, uh, for those of you who don't know LootMe, indulge me one minute to tell you about three quick headlines. So, we're a global business. Uh, we've got, we're headquartered in London, but we've got offices all over and we're active in almost all markets. We actually built our own ID graph. This future-proofs us for the deprecation of the cookie and actually gives us unique strength in the world of connected TV, but we're not going to focus on that today. And all of this is powered by our purchase platform, the jewel in our crown. And this drives everything that I want to talk to you about today. And I'll also share a simple three-step plan on how you can use the platform really well. So, um, talking about brand innovation in 2023, easier said than done, right? Especially the scrutiny that brand budgets are under. Um, when I'm talking to clients at the moment, they're all talking about a deeper, like, deeper need for more analytics rather than a push for innovation. And if you think about the last couple of years, we've seen a war in Europe, a cost of living crisis, and we're off the back end of a pandemic. The only time I mention the pandemic today. Um, and the rain's back, just as I mentioned that. Um, but I guess the reason for this, uh, to mention all this, is that wages are stagnant. And this means that disposable income is also impacted. And as a consequence, marketing budgets are also under a lot more scrutiny. And at LootMe, we actually use our Purchase Loot platform to do biannual research dips. And we actually did a, a, another wave recently that threw up some really interesting insights. So there's lots of interesting insights within this research, but I picked out three particular headlines that I really liked that really spotlight the renewed accountability required for brand advertising at the moment and why there's a lot more comfort in performance. So the first one is that half of all marketers have lost confidence in brand budgets. A big proportion of those budgets have actually moved across into performance activity. And this is within a wider context of budgets being down in 2023 generally. So you can see the pressures we're under. And I think the main consequence of this is, while it's long been accepted that clicks and views have long not been good enough to evaluate the effectiveness of brand, even brand new studies that show a small positive uplift are no longer enough. Without cookies, we've uh, used things like attention as a proxy, but CFOs need more. They need to know that their brand investment is moving the needle on the bottom line. And this is what we're passionate about at LootMe. We feel that as an industry, we could be better at advocating for and proving the effectiveness of brand advertising. Um, now, last year I was here on another stage at Madfest. It's shaped a lot differently for those of you who were here um, last year. But we were talking to you about how we're helping partners better understand the link between brand lift and the cost to actually meet your objective. Um, we actually introduced a way you can trade on this as well, guaranteeing reductions to your effective cost per lifted user. Um, when we introduced this last year, this was a beta model for us, but since then, this has actually become business as usual for us. And even since then, we've been iterating and improving, and that's why we're really excited to be able to speak to you here on the brand innovation stage today. Because what we're doing at LootMe is translating your brand lift into an actual uh, simple to understand cost and mapping that back to your actual brand objective. So why is this really exciting? Well, it's the first step towards applying the rigor of performance analytics to brand goals and bridging that gap between brand lift and return on investment. Um, why else should we be excited and what exactly is so innovative within this? Well, for the first time ever, LootMe are giving advertisers the ability to buy a guaranteed number of lifted users before a single impression has even been delivered. So turning that cost per lifted user into an actual rate card that you can trade on. 
Now, this has never been done anywhere in the world, and we're hugely proud to be able to talk to you about this today. But this is all thanks to Lutney's capabilities, and we're just scratching the surface on what's possible here. We're working with really interesting partners that can help us map this to install sales, footfall, and carbon emissions. But all of this is actually driven by artificial intelligence. Now, I know that everyone is talking about artificial intelligence right now. It was center stage in Cannes a couple of weeks ago. But this isn't new to us here at Lutme. This has been at our core since our inception. Um, uh, we actually received a patent for our purchase loop platform. Now, for those of you who work in AI, this is an in uh, who don't work in AI, sorry, this is an incredibly difficult thing to achieve. So it's amazing that we've been able to do this in this field. Um, and to be clear on this, we are the only people around that can optimize, optimize on these goals. In real time, we can optimize towards driving awareness, consideration, shifting positive brand perception. Now, I've been at Loop.me for almost six years now, and we used to talk about AI in every single presentation that we did. Um, and you could split the reactions of the room into three separate buckets. There were those that were really excited to learn more about artificial intelligence in this new up and coming thing. There were those that had been dragged there by the bosses because it's a vendor presentation. And then there were those that were really, really skeptical as well. And this maps nicely to what Gartner referred to as the hype cycle for artificial intelligence. So I know this is a scary looking chart, but um, the important things to note within this is it basically plots different forms of artificial intelligence and where they are today in terms of the hype cycle and the time it might take to achieve the actual realities. Um, things like generative AI, chat GPT, it's helped bring this back into the zeitgeist, which is amazing for Loop.me, the buzz that's being brought back into it. It's really good because people are coming to us and wanting to know more about artificial intelligence. In fact, I would go further and say people actually already know more about artificial intelligence. When we're talking to marketers, they know the impact it's having on their artificial intelligence. To the extent that I would say that if you're not using artificial intelligence in your marketing, you're probably the ex exception rather than the rule. And why is this really exciting for us at Lutme? Well, people are coming to us and asking us, OK, how can we push the needle? And one of the ways we've been challenged is how can we use this artificial intelligence to trade in a different way? Um, so if you're a bit basic like me, we can tell the story a bit easier through emojis instead, right? So what you have at the start of the process is the nerd face emoji going into the dollar sign emoji. As people get really excited about the capabilities of something in AI, all the possibilities of what, what we might be able to achieve. This quickly moves into the concerned emoji, sad face emoji, as the actual realities of the capabilities start to bite. But then what happens is, data scientists work away behind the scenes when things have lost a bit of attractiveness and almost perfect something. This is when you get to the contemplating emoji, the content face emoji, when AI becomes so useful, it's almost every day and people don't even know it's being used around them. And this is where the industry now is in ad tech. There are loads of clever, exciting partners that are using AI in really exciting, different ways. And I hope you'll see a lot of them this over the next few days. But at Loop.me, the culmination of 12 years of using artificial intelligence and the articulation of how we use it in our tech is our Purchase Loop platform. So the Purchase Loop platform allows advertisers to drive incremental brand lift. It is a one-stop shop that allows you to achieve three things. Build exclusive and bespoke target audiences. Make sure you're delivering the most relevant and attentive creative. And measure and optimize towards brand lift in real time. So I'll walk you through this step by step now. So the first step is, when we get a brief, Loopme will run real-time research into consumer behavior, bespoke to every single campaign, with artificial intelligence building a predictive model of your in-market customer. We know exactly who your target audience is before we deliver a single impression. I will talk about step two in a moment. Step two, um, we use our amazing in-house creative team so we match your brand outcome to our creative suite and the environment most likely to drive brand uplift for you. This is all uh, verified um, in terms of verification partners and attention measurement. And we'll work with you in terms of assets as well, whether it's augmenting existing video assets to maximize recall, whether it's building, um, engaging in interactive rich media formats to drive consideration, or even maximizing the purchase intent on a campaign by partnering with clever partners, we see creative as an important part of the brand, of brand success. <coughs> Excuse me. And step three, for the first time ever, we are giving advertisers the ability to, bu to buy a guaranteed number of their business outcomes. 
So this is as simple as the way you would buy a guaranteed number of clicks or views on a performance campaign. We have built a new and exclusive trading model. You can buy a set number of your desired outcomes, the first objective on your brief. Let me repeat that. You can buy a, a set number of people in a state of awareness, consideration, purchase intent, with security and confidence. Um, this is something that's hugely exciting for us. Again, innovative in the world, and we're super excited to be able to talk to you about it today. Um, and this is why we see ourselves as innovators in brand, and why we want to speak on this particular stage. Our platform allows you to build your target audiences in incredibly unique and scalable ways, ensure you're delivering your creative um, to the, uh, uh, with the right message in the right environment, and also not just measure brand lift, not just optimize towards brand lift, but actually buy your chosen brand outcome with confidence. And what we're seeing is there are loads of benefits to working in this way that are um, sort of aligning with some of the key market trends that we're seeing. So the first one is you're completely de-risking your brand investment. Advertisers, and advertisers can go to their finance department and show them that whatever the level of your brand investment, there is no risk. You are buying exactly what you want with confidence and you are going to be delivered that. <coughs> Secondly, I mentioned at the very start that we've been using attention as a proxy, but the good news is we were right about that. So what we've been seeing is that the higher the attention, the higher the brand lift and vice versa. Attention is a really strong data point and incredibly useful. And lastly, where we're already working with our partners on this cost per lifted user trading model, we are already seeing a link to return on ad spend, so we know that this works. So, one of the elephants in the room, though, is whenever we talk about a new product in ad tech that's new and innovative, it normally comes with a massive carbon footprint, right? But this is where we're a bit different at LootMe as well. So we are net zero seven years ahead of schedule, and one of the first companies in ad tech to achieve this. One of the big reasons we've been able to achieve this is that we've been able to cut our gross emissions per thousand impressions delivered by 77%, and this is thanks to the Purchase Suite platform. This product has the ability to dramatically reduce our carbon emissions. Let me be clear, there are loads of people out there talking about how you can measure, how you can offset, but our mission at LootMe is to help advertisers reach the outcomes that they want at a lower carbon footprint. And again, we're willing to put our money where our mouth is and actually verify that with partners. And I should say that everything I've talked to you about today, whether it's trading on a brand outcome, whether it's measuring retention, whether it's testing our carbon footprint, everything we do at LootMe can be third party verified. And uh, innovation doesn't stop there. Um, today, I'm really excited to launch our next evolution, Purchase Loop Measurement. So at LootMe, we, we are here to disrupt the brand space with or without our media. So everything that I've talked about today, you can now run without, or you can now access without having to run media with LootMe. This product gives you the ability to measure and optimize towards brand lift across your wider digital plan, all in real time, all with access to the dashboard yourself to see brand lift in real time. Again, something that's never been done anywhere in the world to the scale that we're able to do it. Um, ultimately, again, like I said, our, uh, we're here to disrupt. Our independent measurement team can help you bring, bring that added layer of accountability to your brand investment across your wider plan. And we're super excited to be able to uh, launch this with you today. Um, that was it from me today. Uh, I've managed to avoid having a coughing fit, so we've got time for questions if anyone's got any. Oh, sounds like we have. Yeah, we've got. Great and exciting that you could launch this. We've got one question. If you do have a question, do put it in the app. Can you give us um, uh, a practical example of this coming to life with a brand, so a case study or a use <coughs> case? Uh, yep, so I can give one example. Um, so um, I hope this, I'm sure this brand won't mention, mind mentioning that we work with them quite closely, but a brand we work really closely with is Domino's Pizza. We've had a long history of working with them, running the same sort of research questions and optimizing towards brand lift in real time. We got to a stage where we were able to work with the agency and say, look, we know what brand uplift looks like for you as an advertiser on these particular brand outcomes, the outcome being consideration. So we went back to them and said, this is the level of your investment. This is the total reach that you've been getting. This is your actual cost per lifted user. So we can now turn this into a way to trade. Rather than buying, this, uh, buying your media on a CPM, hoping for the best in your report and saying that we've driven a, a reduction in your cost per lifted user. What you can actually do is come to us and buy a set number based on the insight and analytics we already have. 
so they were able to buy a set number of people in a state of consideration to order Domino's pizza in the next few weeks. And whatever happened, we, were, we would have to deliver them. That was the trading model. The same way we would for a cost per completed view, you have to deliver the video views. We had to deliver those uh, lifted users to them. So they had that confidence throughout that they were going to deliver what they, were, what they needed. Amazing. Thanks. Thanks, Jamesh. Let's give uh, Jamesh and Luke Me a round of applause. Thanks very much. Yes. Great stuff.